Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Elementor Enthusiast This one is for you Elevate your design game by mastering the art of editing the footer specifically using Elementor Unleash the creative possibilities and achieve a website that stands out incredibly for your audience So, let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys to do in this tutorial is to head up to your WordPress dashboard. Here let me show you how my website looks like at the moment. So it seems very... it depends. Well, it seems ugly somehow. Yeah, it's very ugly at the moment. And we're gonna try in this video to actually edit the footer which we don't have at the moment using uh, Elementor. So basically the first thing to do is to actually have a good theme that works with Elementor. So how we can find those themes? Well if we went to themes right through here and we clicked on add a new theme and we try to find something that works with Elementor, it's gonna take a while. So what we should do normally is to simply head up to plugins, as you can see right here, add a new plugin, and then search for Elementor. As you can see, this is it. Uh, so Elementor, and here we go. So it's going to be the first one. Click here to install it now. And here we go. Well. The first thing to put in mind guys is that Elementor has a free version and a premium version. There is a pro version of Elementor, so put that in mind. It's very useful, though uh, it can have some problems while like you are working with it. So now uh, I will just try to activate this once more. Here we go, let's refresh the page. Okay, so here it is, this is Elementor, it is download and activated as you can see right here. So after we did install Elementor, look what appeared, Elementor and Templates. So here we have a Theme Builder, we have Save Templates, we have a lot of things to go for in Elementor. So we have here Theme Builder which will help us basically to build a theme. Uh, well here we go, let's go back. As you can see, we can add a new template like through here. We can find uh, and like download the new templates. We can find a landing page. We can here find a section. So what we're gonna do is to simply find the section and name your template footer. Here we go. Create templates. And basically, what you're gonna do now is basically build uh, a footer using Elementor. So let's go back here. Uh, it's been like that for me like it's bugs for me because I'm using it on my local host But don't worry guys for you it's gonna be working perfectly So in case just in case you had the same problem you can say for example click here for example as you can see save templates You can edit with elements right through here and it will take you to a page where you're going to edit the footer using Elementor as you can see right here So this is basically the footer now what we should do is to simply start adding stuff. So the first thing that normally I would do is to add a container. We can add a size for this container to be bigger, to be smaller, depending on what you want. So for me, this is what I want. This is the size, the maximum size that I can go for. So this is a very decent size for me. I want it to be a uh, full width and I want it to have some kind of uh, colors. So can I add here colors? It seems like not, so I'm gonna just keep it like that for the moment. So now we are going to add colors from the style. So let's go to style, and here we're gonna add the background, which is gonna be basically, for example, like that. I mean, I'm just doing any colors for now, just for the sake of the video. Of course, you have to work harder on the design. Here we can even add an image if you want to, but that's it for now. We can now here in this footer section, we can add header as a text. So you can add here, for example, uh, the name of the website. For example, for now, let's name it footer. Let's go back. Here we go. We can add text editor. Um, yeah, let's add it right through here. And um, I want it to be on the left. So everything I want it to be on the left. Um, here, we can actually just click here. 
as you can see and add a new footer if you want to so put that in mind in case you would like to have multiple uh, footers in here we can here as you can see have uh, like basically some designs if you would like to have something like that it's gonna be very very uh, very cute i mean it's very nice to have it like so it's gonna add some kind of design some kind of it's not really just a flat uh, triangle it has some designs it has some shapes so this is gonna really really uh, add some life to your footers as you can see here uh, let me just remove that you can see that the design is being better now the case is why do I have it limited like that? Why it is not uh, going to the limit of the website? Well, that is because I am using the free Elementor. As you know, Elementor has all these pro versions that it owns. Well, I can't use them because I don't have the paid Elementor. But in case you had the, the paid Elementor, you will be able to actually increase the size of it and make it as big as you want. For me, I can only move it somehow sometime but it will go back to its uh, first place so put that in mind in case you didn't know now in the footer normally we would add uh, uh, like as you can see here the logo which is gonna be an image or text some text that's gonna be like about us and we can add also uh, basically some some menu we can add some menu sections so you can for example here add type like a menu add for example home page and you can give it a link so we can add a link for home page let's say for example here you change this text to home well you can simply just select that hyperlink and just type simply write uh, the the link of home page so you can type here www.homepage.com and it's gonna be added so whenever people click on it they're gonna be taken to this home page as you can see here which is basically just a random website that I have written it is not really uh, something that I actually have in my website so this is not really a real page but in your case of course you just have to copy the URL of your home page and paste it right there and it's gonna work and this is basically somehow what you have to do to add the design and life to your foot in your WordPress website so the next thing to do basically now is to publish it so let's publish it right through that and simply now this section is live and people can now actually see it so this is basically how you can start and create your own uh, footer guys it's very simple not complicated at all and basically you can here for example site settings you can go to your site and click on edit with elementor and you can literally go to your home page and start editing and doing whatever you want on whatever section you own in your website if there is for example some footer that comes with that comes with your website and can be removed you can simply just remove it using css and html in the code itself and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial